Whatever my driving instructor might tell you, I'm a fast learner. I don't need a 10 minute tutorial to learn how to hide behind cover in a video game or do donuts in a supermarket car park. At best, unskippable tutorials are a tedious but necessary way to teach you a game's fiddly bits. At worst, they're a pointless chore standing between you and the game you're actually here to play. That's why when a game does something creative with its training level, we want to cheer. Let's do that for these inspired tutorial sections. All testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. When you wake up at the start of Portal 2, you get a mini tutorial cleverly framed as an automated check for whether your brain has turned to soup or not while you are under. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. It's less about teaching you how to look up and look down and more about introducing Wheatley, the thicko personality sphere. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped. And also establishing that something has gone very wrong at Aperture Science while you were having a big snooze. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Almost there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes. The exact same thing happened last time I tried to have a lion. Spider, these guys are a mega force. Parody is what 80s flavoured Far Cry 3 spin off Blood Dragon is all about. So when it's time to show grumpy parody hero Rex Power Colt how to run and jump like a three year old at toddler gymnastics class, parody is what you get. Security override! Activate tutorial programs for Sergeant Rex Power Colt! Acknowledged. Loading basic tutorial batch 101 from Military Navigation for Idiots. Blood Dragon at least has fun with its unskippable tutorial by acknowledging that unskippable tutorials are extremely annoying. Why? Running is like walking, only faster. I feel you, bro. By making its protagonist as frustrated as you are, it gets away with giving you a quick refresher course in all the stuff you basically remember from Far Cry 3. That's the power of parody. I fucking hate tutorials, and this one is terrible. Welcome to the States, 47. This should be a straightforward operation. We need you to penetrate an abandoned amusement park, locate the owner, and take him out. Hitman Blood Money has the radical idea that a training level should be as much fun as the game itself, not the price of admission to the rest of the game. Consequently, its training mission here is a compact little assassination mission with all the same clever detail and black humour as you'll find in any of the real missions. My client has hired me to show you this photograph. I don't understand. My client has asked me to ensure it's the last thing you ever see. The main difference is that the hit is less freeform than the actual game and more guided, in a way that helps you be the best Agent 47 you can be. Which is better than a ham-fisted training session that pretends you're an amnesiac skinhead who's forgotten he was the world's most perfect silent killer? Names are for friends, so I don't need one. <laughs> Like a ghost. Welcome to my home. I'll take you on a guided tour. Take a trip with me now, back through time to the original Tomb Raider before Lara Croft was the world's falling downiest grad student. <laughs> And back to when she was a bona fide aristocrat with a bona fide a massive country mansion. Back in Tomb Raider 1, the training level was the dead posh Croft Manor with its great halls full of crates and gym mats. It was a nice treat running Lara around a swanky safe space for a change where nothing could hurt you as long as you didn't do a swan dive off a balcony face first onto the parquet or drown in the pool. Now I'd better take off these wet clothes. Cheeky. Because the tutorial instructions were delivered by Lara herself, you also had the curious effect of Lara talking in a way that implies she knows she has someone controlling her every move. Okay. Let's do some tumbling. Press the jump button. Now press it again and quickly press one of the directions and I'll jump that way. Weird. And then in Tomb Raider 2 you could lock the butler in the Croft Manor freezer. Up yours, the help. It's a big world out there, son. Full of all sorts of people. What about you? What kind of person are you going to be? Fallout 3 starts out by taking you back to basics. Like, right back to basics. Going to need a name, aren't you? Your mother and I have been talking. 
So, along with your baby character, you learn to walk, pick up objects, and disobey direct orders from authority figures. You just stay here while Daddy runs to his office. You'll be okay, pal. I'll be back in a bit. It does a great job of teaching you mechanics and simultaneously building the world of the game. You assign your stats through an adorably chewable baby book called Your Special, you learn how to shoot things by clearing rad roaches out of your vault's reactor with a BB gun, and you learn Fallout 3's most important skill, how to be a horribly manipulative dick to people, by going to a birthday party. Give me that sweet roll you got from old lady Palmer. Talk about my mom, you little punk. It all culminates in the goat test, which determines what kind of a character build you'll have, and then your escape from the vault, where you put everything you learned into action. And if you're anything like us, settle some old scores. Try and steal my sweet roll, will you, Butch? The very first mini-level of Sega Mega Drive classic Echo the Dolphin familiarises you with the basics of being a nice dolphin with a nice dolphin family. It leaves you to discover at your own pace that you can eat fish and flip around and use sonar to bring up your mini-map. And speak to your nice family. Aren't they nice? I hope they never get sucked up into space by an alien tornado. So I guess all I have to do today is hang out and jump as high as possible. And so begins the saddest, loneliest dolphin simulator in the history of video games. Still, at least you know how to eat fish and do sonar, right? You're in terrible, terrible danger. I'm a sucker for video games that introduce key mechanics in inventive ways, like Shadow of Mordor, which teaches you stealth by having you stalk and then brutally kiss your wife. Really? The love I have for you. Dance on beaches in and follows sleeping. <laughs> Happy anniversary, my love. Alien, this is beautiful. I guess if Tolkien wrote it, it must have happened. But my favourite is the opening to Dead Space 2, which makes sure you take its movement and QTE tutorial seriously by locking you in a straitjacket so you can't do anything but run, then flinging hordes of undead monsters with knives for arms at you. Good luck not paying attention or wandering off track when that's going on. <laughs> Later, you get the use of your arms, and this helpful guy teaches you how to aim right before... Yikes. It really lets you know what kind of a game you're in for as well. Hope you got used to not having any arms, Isaac. Better not get too attached to that head, either. Those were the inventive tutorial sections we wouldn't have skipped even if we could. Now, before you proceed to the next video, you must complete this tutorial for pressing the like button. Please press the like button to continue.